This hole is one of the only access points available to install an entire steam system in this 60-year-old building. The McMaster University Medical Center has been an integral part of health research for the last 50 years. And four years ago, the steam boiler system was removed, and the facility has been receiving steam from the university campus. But with demand on site increasing, the building will need its own updated boiler system. This is where LJ Barton step in. They have been subcontracted to assist in the installation of a brand new steam heating system, and all the pieces required need to be lifted in through an access hole in the roof, as well as a door three levels down. The margin for error on this project is literally millimeters. We had to shut the main road down, both lanes, for we were trying to get all this work done inside four days. And the biggest part of this was getting 1,100 feet of pipe down a filled shaft. We pre-measured the whole shaft. There were roughly 100 to 96 feet long. That consisted of two 12-inch heating lines, an 8-inch high-pressure steam line, a 2-inch blowdown, a 2-inch high-pressure condensate, a 6-inch gas line, a two inch fuel oil line, an inch and a half fuel oil return line, a one inch propane line, and a one inch air line all had to go down the shaft. We were fighting for inches the whole way down. <laughs> the crew begins on a Thursday afternoon, and with the assistance of a Mammut crane, the team starts their first lift. Each piece is lifted up one at a time, and carefully threaded through the access hole. The Mammut crane holds the pipes in place as the interior team installs them. The crew finishes on Thursday ahead of schedule and on Friday morning, they pick up where they left off. We had everything planned for all of what we needed to get up here. All our tools got lifted up, because if you miss one thing, there's no uh, carrying a 21-foot length of pipe up the stairs. So well, even all the stuff to finish the jobs out on the roof. Some of the biggest pieces going in are the 12-inch piping. More worried about standing it up. Once the crane had it, it was fine. Standing up 100 feet without making a bend or a break. That's why we had the 10K telehandler so we could adjust the pipe as we started lifting up. We could go slowly forward and make sure it doesn't swing or pinch underneath anything. But the crew effortlessly threads the needle and installs without issue. We had six guys all through the shaft and two on the roof. Uh, Pi directing the crane and Schwag ready to blow him and myself below him and we worked all the way down, down to level one. At the end of Friday, the crew has completed multiple successful lifts and installed dozens of components. The next day, they will return to finish up the last of the lifts. The last day involves some of the most complicated pieces. Up first is a storage tank. Line down, another five. Okay, that's pretty good there. I'm um, gonna swing you to the right. We gotta get your right uh, tank right over tight against that glass. It gets squeezed through an access hole and hoisted up into place. As the crew gets the storage tank in place, the de-aerator is lifted up onto the roof. This large tank needs to squeeze into the back of the mechanical room. Keep moving down just a little bit further. Swing right. Using the same hoist system as the storage tank, the team muscles the de-aerator into the storage room and up into place.
This marks the completion of the final lift. Over the following days, LJ Barton will continue to hook up all the new equipment. This is uh, the penthouse mechanical room. This room was empty before we started, but trying to get everything to fit has been a challenge. You can see us trying to get close and miss all the structural steel everywhere. So what we did was when we ended up getting the job with this big empty room is we have a program where we can take the whole measurement of the room and put it on a computer. And we spent probably a good couple weeks trying to make everything fit, miss all the structural steel. We had the computer program down here and it turned out great. Everything that you see here was prefabbed at our shop and we flew it in with a crane on one day and all we had to do was connect it. So right now we got the insulators going through the shaft, insulating our pipes, starting with the heating so I can get flushing going. And then uh, we have our guys down working on the relief tank that we flew up, getting it on the structural steel, getting the pipes measured, cut, and attaching. And as soon as we get that stuff done, the whole the idea is to finish everything up here and we're gonna go down to the base and like I said, start connecting. Working on a university campus with tight spaces, tight deadlines, and tight restrictions is never a simple task. But this is the environment where LJ Barton shine, doing whatever it takes to get the job done safely, efficiently, and properly. Mamu Crane was great. All the guys we had on the ground doing all the work for us were great. No one got hurt. No one took the shortcuts on anything to try and get it done quicker. Everyone was down with the speed we were moving, so to the next one. In a few weeks, the new steam system will turn on for the first time. Once again, providing the McMaster University Medical Center with its own self-made heat.